what is up welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video guys we are starting this video off in Encinitas you guys see the whip right there so we're actually gonna be going on a bike ride let's go down here so I can show you guys we got the we got the bike back on the whip over here Jose's rigged as you guys know I was gonna wipe it down because it's kind of dirty because you know I, I literally ride this bike every single day guys every single day i love bike riding it is an amazing workout and i don't know it's just something about this very very soothing to me it's almost like I, I always say i think i said it in the past it's like bike riding for me is like yoga for other people i just love it it just it just clears my mind yeah the whole nine yards but this house is sick it's like literally right across the way from the beach that's the beach you see everybody walking riding bikes you know running working out whatever the case is so uh, these are the boys' bikes. We're about to go bike riding. Should be a nice day. So we are on our way to get gas in this car because we literally have three notches. Oh my gosh. This car sounds good. Never gets old. Never, never, never. Gotta show you guys the seats. They look nice. Now, I don't plan on filling this car up because I never like to park this car with a lot of E85 in the tank. So we're just gonna put just enough to get us by, at least today or so. We kinda gotta chill in this area because I believe the police station is like literally right across the street. That should've gave me half a tank. Eh, just about. It's like literally one notch off a half a tank. All right, let's go. So I wanted to do a Q&A video answering some of the most frequent questions that I get. Starting at number one, this is not really a frequent question, but somebody stated that I should triple chrome the front wheels. Now, I thought about doing that, I really did, but I think I would rather black chrome, right? Because right now it's kind of already black chrome is just without the shine. So like imagine just a little bit more shine, I think that would look sick. Now I asked for triple chrome, I don't know, everybody does it to the Nismo wheels, it's kind of like the sought after like finish to do on these. So my whole thing is like standing out right that's why I didn't load this car with carbon fiber right this car is clean as is got these wheels got the front wheels which ironically not a lot of people are running these front wheels so these are 285s in the front right they said that it couldn't be done i did it and you know we're good but i think i would rather black chrome them versus triple chrome them to be honest and i'm not gonna lie triple chrome was on the table but again just trying to be different i think i would rather black chrome them you guys totally cannot see this but the next one says why won't you summon in ismo wheels bro be like mr beast one i'm not like mr beast i ain't got the bag like him two i cannot tell you guys how many people have been bugging me about the extra set of Nismo wheels I have in my garage. So as you guys know, the, the wheels that we have in the front were originally in the back and we had the front wheels, which are now in my garage, in the front. But now the wheels that were in the rear are in the front and then we added, of course, the drag pack. I cannot tell you how many times people have seen those wheels in the back of my videos and have asked me to sell them to them. And the answer is always going to be no. Guys, those are my spares. I understand how much those wheels are sought after and when I bought this car, I had one rule, it has to have the V1 Nismo wheels because when I bought this car, this wasn't my first choice which is crazy, a lot of you guys don't know the story but I was originally supposed to buy a silver Nismo out here in SoCal before I moved but that one ended up not working out and so this one came about and everything just worked out and again my one rule was it has to have the V1 Nismo wheels and here we are. Can we just take a second to admire this view? Like we get a view of the city, we got houses so he gets a view and he gets a view. That's so sick. It's like a perfect coat of sack, to be honest. We got a car. Looking sick. Color looking sick. We got the seats. I know you guys are so tired of hearing me talking about these seats, but I just love them so much. They look so good. And we got the wheel. Everything just flows nicely. I don't, guys, I, I literally, I couldn't have asked for a better turnout when it came to this car. Literally everything that I've wanted. And like, there's literally nothing on this car that I would change right now. Literally nothing. Okay, maybe headlights. I need to get new headlights. For some reason, mine are peeling, right? I had to restore them like a couple years ago. And yeah, that was kind of peeling. Not too bad, but we still got it. This one's not bad at all, actually. It's not peeling. It's just this one for whatever reason. But again, it's not, it's, it's not really that bad, but still, we're going to have to fix that for sure. But yeah, other than that, new headlights. We got to wash it. We're going to do it right now. We're going to wash this car. It is dirty. I've been driving it for the past couple days. 
I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like a SoCal thing, but it's really like been a main thing that I've seen out here on my cars since I moved out here. It's like this yellow stuff. I don't know if it's poop from an insect or whatever the case is, but it's like all over the car. So we're gonna have to wash it. I hate having dirt sit on my paint because I know it's not good, especially on a white car. I have a white car, the Lexus is white. And if you guys know, white cars stain easily. So that's why when they get dirty, you have to clean them quickly. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wash this car because it's dirty. You can kind of see it on the wheels too. That one, not so much, but on the front one, since it's a dark complexion wheel, you can kind of see it a little bit more. But I couldn't have asked for a better turnout on this car, honestly. And to the number one question that I get, what do I do for work? Guys, honestly, I promise you, one day I will answer this. But right now, the reason why I don't want to answer is because I literally live two different lives when it comes to work and personal, right? I live work, work, personal, personal. I literally don't intertwine. People at work don't know what I do outside of work. And the people close to me only know what I do for work for privacy reasons. But I promise you guys, one day I will answer it. Okay, next question. So this is a two part question. So the second part says, do I plan on collabing with any of YouTubers? I do. Uh, there were a couple in the past that I could have collabed with that you guys know, they're well known especially in SoCal. But I chose not to just because I never, uh, you gotta, you have to be careful how you approach certain things. It's all about the approach, right? Like I never want anybody to think that I'm trying to use their name as like uh, for clout or to get to the next level, right? I'd rather build that friendship first. And then like if it happens naturally or if we agree to it, then I'd be down to do it, right? But like somebody that I, I uh, don't know and to hit up and to like, hey, like you wanna collab, you know what I mean? Like I just, I just rather not do it that way. I rather build friendships first and then collab. That makes any sense, right? But if it happens on the fly, if it happens on the go spontaneously, then of course I'm all in for it. But I know ne I'm, I'm never that person to see somebody that's well known, right? And then to like throw a camera in their face and then call it a collab. That's definitely not what I'm about and I would never do that, right? But again, like I said, there are there were some people in, in the past, well I think it was like one individual that was on a channel that some of you caught that it is well known in SoCal. And uh, like I said, I, that was just natural, but like I'm I'm not just gonna throw a camera in anybody's face and call it a collab. Just just not my style. The second part, well technically the first part of that question is asking about a friendship that I had that ended over a year ago that you guys constantly constantly asking me about, even though it happened over a year ago, right? So let me touch on it a little bit. Um, I'm not really sure how to approach this, um, and I'm trying to keep it brief. I'm not really trying to get into details just because not only is it a long story, but I just don't really want to get into details of things. But long story short, um, I'm, a, I'm a person that will do any and everything for the people around me, right? I'm a person that always tries to do the right thing. I'm not perfect, right? but I'm always striving to do the right thing. I'm always willing to help any and everybody around me, right? So the only reason why that friendship ended was because there were some things that definitely didn't line up um, with, I guess, I wouldn't say, I'm not gonna say values, but it didn't line up with um, what I was giving. I'm just gonna leave it at that, right? I'm just gonna leave it at that. So that's the reason why that friendship ended. And no, I am not a person that, oh, I give you this, so you gotta give me this. I am 100% not that person, right? Like if I do something for you, I don't need the credit, right? I don't need you to, to tell your friends, tell your family, or put me on social media and say, I did this for this person, or you know, I did this for you, right? I don't need that. I don't want that, right? I don't need my credit. I do things because it's genuine and it comes from my heart. So I don't, I'm not one of those people that say, oh, like I did this for you and you couldn't even do that. I'm, I'm not one of those people. Again, it's a, it's a long story, and if I were to tell it, I think you guys would get it. Of course, the people around me understand it because I told them the story, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just one, it's one of those things I'm really not trying to get into. If the day comes where I have to, I would, but I'm just gonna leave it at that. We just got done cleaning the car. It's all nice and clean and shiny, the wheels. So the next question is, what made me get a 370Z and what are my goals with it? Honestly, guys, I didn't see this car for the very first time until I believe it was 2020. I still had the Miata, right? I bought a crash Miata. It, was, it wasn't crash, it was totaled. I bought a totaled Miata and I figured I'd buy it and rebuild it on the channel, right? This is back in 2020. No, I bought that car in 20, 2018, 2019, I bought that car, right? I, at that time, I still had this car, right? The Miata. 
and I saw a 370Z Nismo for the very first time. It was a V1 370Z Nismo I saw it for the very first time. I know, I was completely, completely late to the game, right? I was like, dog, what is that car? Like. I absolutely, and you guys gotta keep in mind, like I live in a very, I, well, at the time I lived in a very small town, very small town, right? So you didn't really see modified cars like that. If, if you did see them, it was people that I went to school with and it wasn't that many people, right, that were into cars. There were some, but not that many. Not like living in San Diego or like SoCal, LA, even the Bay Area, NorCal, right? It's, there was nowhere near the, the uh, velocity of cars that you would see out there. So. When I first saw it, I was like, yo, what is that? Like, I need that car. And I, I, I remember to this day, it was white and it had blacked out headlights. And it was on the V1 Nismo wheels, the stock ones, and they were silver. I was like, dog, what is that car? I absolutely need that car. And ironically, at the time, I was already looking to buy another car, right? Because I was kind of over the Miata. It didn't turn out the way that I wanted it, right? So I was kind of over it. So I wanted to sell it and the car that I actually wanted to get is kind of funny, right? The car I actually was looking to getting, uh, looking to get was the E92 M3. But at the time, guys, those were going for like $20,000, 20K for a clean one, right? 90K miles, 70K miles, 80K miles, whatever, right? They were going for like 20K. And I was like, mm, I'm not gonna get it because like I'm not trying to spend that much money, right? That's why I didn't want to get it. And then again, saw the 370Z and I'm like, yo, that, that, that car is so sick, like I absolutely need it. So then I looked into getting one, and again, it wasn't this one that I was actually trying to get first. It was a silver one that only had like 20,000 miles on it, and it was like a 2011, I think, or something like that. Came with the factory backup camera. Um, as you guys know, that's an option from the factory. Some of the, the Nismos have a backup camera. Um, it's through like the mirror, but it's like a factory option that you have to add when you buy the car, right? And then it also came with like the light up seals when you open the door, like the Z light up orange. I would say it's, it was fully loaded, right? 20K miles. It was silver, right? it was gonna match the ST. I was hyped on it, I was like, yo, I drove all the way down to SoCal to look at it, but the guy was just like not wanting to work with me on uh, buying that car, right? He was just like very, like very set in his, in, um, in his ways, like he was just very old fashioned the way that he wanted to do things, right? So that ended up not working out, and then I found this one, and here we are. Now the future plans for the Z. Honestly guys, this car is Pretty much done, I ain't gonna lie to you. We got the seats that we wanted, the car is boosted. I'll show you that right now. We got the steering wheel that we wanted. The car is pretty much done. And we got the wheel that we wanted. So it's not much left. The only other thing that I want to do is build the motor on this car. That is literally it. And like make like 800 horsepower. But of course we would have to change our whole setup. But yeah, we already have a top mount single turbo kit. As you guys know, it hits the hood. So that's why that thing is kind of like on there and it's sticking off because I had something on here to block it from burning. Now what you see here is part of the sticky little adhesive little heat guard thing that I put on and it has glue and it kind of stuck to the turbo so I have to wipe it off. But yeah, we already have our setup that we want. Top mount, single turbo kit, car sounds amazing. As you guys heard in the beginning of the video, yeah, the, I'm, I'm not gonna say it's done because again, we still want to build the motor and that will probably involve us having to change our setup slightly. Um, and I want to make more power, right? That's the next step. But everything else I already have. I got the seats I wanted. I, I boosted it. I have the wheels that I want, uh, the exhaust that I want. Literally, the car is sitting exactly how it actually sounds and it looks better than what I envisioned, right? Color, obviously, is just, it, it adds to everything. The color is so sick, right? If you guys don't know, this is a magma red that came on the 370Z Nismos. I believe it was only produced in 2013 and they only made, I could be wrong, but they only made, I believe it was like 110 of them. Something, something like that, something, some, um, a low number like that. So this is the rarest color that this car comes in. All right, next question. How to get sponsorships at a low following? Any realistic tips? Honestly, see, I, I, I've done it like once or twice reaching out, right? Now the, the main thing when getting sponsorships, you guys gotta understand. You have to understand when you get in the space of like content creation or like um, entrepreneurship, right? You have to do a value exchange, right? You have to be able to offer them something in exchange, right? If they're gonna if they're gonna take money off or give you a free product, you have to you have to literally give them the same value, if not better back. Right? That's how that's how a sponsorship works. You can't you can't sit here and ask 
a company for a sponsorship and you have no value to give them back, whether that's promoting it to an audience or like somewhat driving, um, you know, revenue to their, their website or like their company, right? It's a value exchange. So for example, I got the exhaust on the 370Z sponsored, right? It was like half off, which is crazy. I don't know if I ever said that, but it was half off, right? A very expensive exhaust. In exchange, I was making content with it, right? I made videos on it, I made freaking reels, tagged them in a post or whatever the case was, right? And I've had this exhaust since what, 2020 or so? Um, so yeah, it, it's a value exchange. So if you're gonna ask for a sponsorship, the first thing that the company that, it's, that you're asking for that sponsorship is gonna do is see what type of value that you can offer them. That's just, that's just reality, that's just the name of the game, right? It is what it is. My advice, honestly, would be to grow your following. Right, because the first thing that the company or person is going to look at is okay, if I give this product to him for a discount or for free, who is he going to market it to? Like, what value is he going to give me? And that would be marketing to your audience, right? Like, for example, if you're a content creator that always goes to shows, always goes to meets, right? A company will look at that and be and see that as like free advertisement. Like, hey, like if I give him this free product in exchange, he's always at car meets, he's always at shows, that's where my product could get displayed or it could, it could get marketed or, or um, advertised, right? So that's, that's how it works, right? I've only asked for a sponsorship, I believe twice, and I can't remember the, the other one, but the first one was the exhaust that's on it. Honestly, that might have only been the, first, the only one, now that I'm thinking about it, the exhaust on the Nismo, because that exhaust was extremely expensive. Um, and that was when I was pushing out, about to push out tons of content on the Z because that's when we were just about to boost it, right? Uh, I was gonna go through the process of boosting it and filming all that stuff, and that's when I reached out uh, with the asking for a sponsorship with the company that I have the exhaust with. And uh, yeah, that, honestly, that would be my advice. The next, I won't even say it's a question, it's a, it's a comment, racing videos. I don't do racing videos for one reason and one reason only. It is sketch. I know you guys have heard in the past of people getting uh, their cars taken away or like the authorities coming to their house and literally using their own videos as proof, bro. That's crazy. And that, and that is, I'm, I'm exposed to the truth, uh, which you guys already know, so it's not really exposing. That's why when you see these content creators race or they film racing videos, they always say, oh, we're going to Mexico because it is for legal reasons, right? It's for legal reasons, so if it ever gets brought up, they can say we were in Mexico. I, I, I physically said we were in Mexico, and they can't really prove anything other than what he said. So it, they literally say it for legal reasons. Um, it's just it's just sketch, bro. Like unless we're doing it on the fly, unless it's it's spontaneous, right? Like we just happen to run um, into each other on the road. You guys probably won't get that many race videos from me because honestly, it's just like I don't know. It's 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 too. It's, there's too much to lose, right? Like if I get caught racing, I got too much to lose. Like they could take my vehicle, they could take my vehicles with an S, right? And it's just, to me, it's not worth it, right? It's just, it's, it's too hot. Again, it's, it's cool to do it every, every so often, even off camera, but you're solidly not gonna get just racing videos from me. It's probably not gonna happen. And I'm pretty sure you guys know that because when's the last time I posted one? All right, I'm about to make some of you happy right now. Guess what car is under here? Take a wild guess. Uh, we need to clean it. Those headlights are cooked. Yep, we have the ST. So, I had suspicion that there was a mouse in here a couple of weeks ago. And so I put a rat trap in here. And I'm opening this up to see if we caught something. Okay, I first wanted to do a sniff test because if we caught something, it's been in here for a minute. Nothing. And nothing. All right. We're in the clear. We're in the clear, guys. I'm gonna actually leave those up there just in case. But we're gonna hop in here because it's been a minute. And like I always say, I freaking miss this car, bro. I freaking miss this car. This is the OG Recaro seats right here. Yo. I think oh, it's crazy. So now that we have the Z um, fitted with those Recaro seats in there, I can compare them. And I think the Z Recaros are a little bit more aggressive. Dog, dog, I really miss this car. So the reason why we came here is because I got to answer the next question in the ST. It's only right. It says, when are we getting the Focus ST back on the road? Guys, 
I'm going to be real honest with you. Make sure I'm not in the way for this guy. I'm going to be really honest with you guys, okay? And I'll explain a little bit more once the time gets closer. And if you see me sweating, it's freaking hot. So, that's why. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I partially told you guys before. Excuse me. The reason why this car is not back on the road is because it's going to take at least $1,000 to get this car back on the road, right? And while I can pay that, I'm focused on another, well, let me just say this, and I should have said this back when I answered the question um, about anything next for the Z, right? So to add on to that, and we're gonna tack on this question to that, it's gonna be kind of in the middle, like a, little, like a little bonus question, or bonus answer. There's a new car coming to the channel, I've said this in the past, right? And so, um, to kind of piggyback that onto what's next for the Z. The Z is pretty much done. The only thing I want to do is build the motor, right? But I'm not in any rush because if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? So I don't want to tear that car apart and start having issues and headaches and then, you know what I mean? It's just a big old headache. So the Z is comfortably uh, modded right now. And right now I'm just enjoying it, right? There's little things here and there that I'll do, but I'm just enjoying it right now. So with that being said, a new car is coming to the channel so we have the st we have the z and now we got to add another car to the fleet guys because it's time to do it all over i am excited uh that we have a new car coming to the channel so with that being said um I, and the reason why i'm excited is because it's literally going to be a blank cap uh blank cap uh, how, how i'm trying to say a blank uh canvas right so brand new car we're gonna be able to modify it do you know fix things modify all this i'm, I'm excited i'm really excited right so with that being said um, I'm really focused on that. I'm really focused on uh, getting uh, that car and making it happen. And it's not going to be expensive. Or excuse me. It's not going to be cheap. That car is not going to be cheap whatsoever. And so I'm really just focused on that. So that's the reason why this car has been sitting. Because if I get this car back in the road, that's $1,000. And there goes my cover. Uh, it's $1,000. And then of course gas. And then just, you know, I, there's things on this car that I do want to fix. But if I get this car back in the road right now, I'm going to be focused on fixing that and not really on the new car. And guys, if I once we get this new car, I'm gonna have four cars. That's four registrations a year I'm gonna have to pay. That's four insurances, uh, four tanks I gotta fill up, right? I'm not complaining, but I'm just giving you the reality of things. It's not cheap. On top of, hold on, on top of owning my own place, paying for gas, electricity, rent, um, phone bill, internet, you know, just living's very expensive right and i'm very blessed and i'm very i'm very 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 thankful that i'm able to do what i'm doing right to be able to even think that i can buy another car right now is a blessing right so yeah that's the reason why the st is not back in the road but i promise you guys we will get this car back in the road there is uh some backstory that you guys will get once we get the new car and if everything will start making sense uh a little bit more right but for right now i think that's enough information for you guys to really understand what's going on on the back end of things and while i while i'm on this topic i want to apologize guys we haven't been as consistent as i wanted to or consistent uh like i want to on youtube and like i have been in the past and it's because i have a lot of moving parts in my life right now and uh it just makes it a little difficult because i i can't produce content that i want to post right I can post, I can I can make content right now, right? But it's not gonna be uh, post worthy for me. I'm freaking sweaty, I know I look heck of wet right now. Like I said, it's hot. But um, yeah, I can go to every freaking car meet. I can go to like, you know, just like do things that are like totally away from what this channel is about. And I don't wanna do that, right? Like I enjoy working on my cars. I enjoy building my cars. I enjoy driving my cars. I enjoy building, working, driving my cars with my friends, you know? That's what I like. That's what I want this channel to be about. I don't want it to be about, you know, racing and it's not even my cars, right? Or like going to car meets without even, without my car. And no, I just, I, I don't want that. So I, I, I just want to say, I apologize guys. And I appreciate the ones that have been sticking by this channel, watching every single video, liking, commenting. I pre trust me, I see you guys. The people that are in the comments, the people who hit me up on Instagram, I see you guys. Don't ever think that you go unnoticed. Trust me, as a content creator, we always know the real supporters. Trust me, no matter who it is, we always know who the real supporters are. So I appreciate you guys. Trust me, I see you guys. And I just want to thank you. If, if you guys are here, I'd give you a big hug, honestly. Next question. Are we doing any more power mods for the Focus SD? Honestly, guys, this car is maxed out what it, what it is right now. So if I wanted any more power, I would have to change my fuel uh, system and I believe my turbo 
my turbo I believe is somewhat maxed out. So if I wanted any more power, I would have to change my fuel setup, uh, most likely my turbo, and then we would have to build the engine. And while that sounds good, we have camera on this car, right? So even if I had more power, it would be useless because I'm not gonna get traction. Um, this I kind of turned this car into my stance car because I knew we were boosting at the Z. So it was gonna be like my stance car, then the, um, the SC my stance car, then the Z my fast car, and then yeah. And then a new car, the I can't say now, but um, yeah, so I I want to say no as of right now because again, if we have more power, it's gonna be kind of useless. But there are some things I want to fix on the outside, um, things we need to fix. Like we need to fix our quarter panel, it buckled because when we did get this fitment, um, we didn't get it dialed in and we freaking hit a bump and the, the quarter panel buckled. I've told you guys this story so many times, and yeah, so we need we got to fix that. That's gonna be body work, and you guys know body work's never cheap, so. That's gonna be like my main priority once this car's back in the road to get that fixed, cause yeah, that that actually that actually really bugs me. And then let's see the next question. Uh, some of the double questions here. Uh, somebody asked hold mod list and total amount spent. I believe on the Z. Um, I spent about 18,000 I said 20,000 before because I was counting the wheels but I am not getting those wheels so about $18,000 I spent on just boosting it I understand wheels didn't have nothing to do with boosting it but at the time I was doing a whole mod list but just for the engine it was about $18,000 and I did all the work myself so that's all quality parts everybody says oh you're crazy this isn't that bro I did the work myself I bought all quality parts so if you're telling me you can do it for cheaper that's fine go ahead and do it but I, I cut no corners all parts I bought were quality parts I did it for about eighteen thousand dollars the kit alone was like six or seven thousand and the rest was just like fuel mods basically supporting mods and people don't understand bro like power is very expensive that's why everybody uh, cops out and goes to like uh, cosmetics not to say a cop out right cosmetics is cool and all but like that's why people do that first typically because power mods are really expensive people don't understand bro like for a freaking uh, fuel return system you're paying like twelve hundred dollars thirteen hundred for fuel injectors you're paying thirteen hundred dollars fourteen hundred dollars for a fuel pump uh basket i got an upgraded one it was like like six hundred dollars eight hundred dollars something like that like people know for a for a a um catch can a three one ca oil catch can um, it was a oil catch can, power steering reservoir, and a coolant reservoir. It was a three in one. I think I said that right. So it was a three in one reservoir. So oil catch can, power steering, and coolant reservoir. That was seven, I think it was like $700. All right? So people don't understand, like, power is really expensive. And so, yeah, 18000 that's what I spent. If you could do it for cheaper, more power to you, dog. Um, do you regret going with the Guns Evil kit even though you got yours? Um, I do a little bit. If I could do it all over again, I probably would have went with uh, Switchback Racing. The reason why I do regret it is because as a content creator, I like to stamp my name on things that are, um, what's the word I'm looking for, that are, like, that have good reputation, right? It's no, no brainer that Gon, Gon Zevo has a terrible rep reputation right now. There's people who paid for a kit and never got it, dog. That's crazy. Like imagine spending seven thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars, and never getting the product. That's crazy. Um, and for that reason, as a content creator, yeah, that's the only reason why I regret it. Is because if I'm making videos and I'm showing you guys how to install the kit, obviously half of the audience, if not more than half, is going to get the kit just because they see me installing it, right? So why would I want to set my name on something that has a bad reputation, right? And it sucks because. It got worse after I boosted my car. Like I got my kit, right? And people were, even though they were waiting, they were still getting it. Then after I built my car, like I installed the kit, the company got worse. Or I don't know if it's even a company, the, whatever it is, the organization got worse, right? People just weren't getting their kits at all. Filing freaking chargebacks and stuff like that. So if I had to do it all over again, I would go with Switchback Racing. Switchback Racing is the one that makes my three in one reservoir, the oil catch can, power steering, and cooler reservoir. And the customer service was A1. I remember when I ordered it, it was during a um, pandemic and it was on back order or whatever because materials, you guys remember. And he physically reached out and said, hey man, you know, we're still waiting on the, the items to build your uh, your 3 one reservoir. You know, we'll have it at this date. We'll get it We'll get it to you on this date, right? Customer service was A1. And I, I, I tend to look at that, you know, when spending my money on, in, you know, with companies and stuff. So I do regret it. 
And if I, again, if I could, I would go with Switchback Racing. Before we put the cover back on, just to do like an interior check, you guys see we got the Recaros in here that say ST. It's kind of cool because the ST says ST and then the Nismo says Nismo. It's kind of cool. But we got a short shifter in here. Yeah, dog, I really do miss this car. This clutch is so light compared to the Z's. Ah, I miss it. We gotta bring it back soon, guys. I promise, soon. Soon, soon, soon. Whoa! Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Got to me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new ever about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it because you 